Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I want to show you, I think it's five different journal card ideas. These cards could also be a topper for a greeting card, it could be a miniature journal cover, you can make it into a larger journal cover, and I'm going to be using an element that I think will be kind of fun. I'm using the advent numbers from A Christmas Dream, and I thought this would be a great way to show you how to use these advent numbers in your journal, or maybe you can use these as gifts. So what I've done is I've got this particular sheet that I fussy cut out, so I've got all the little numbers ready to go, and we're gonna start with number one. Here I have a four by four piece of white cardstock. This happens to be a watercolor paper. You know, I'm using scraps that I already have. Because of my subscription boxes, I have a lot of pre-cut cards that I send in those kits, and this is just one of those that I happen to have. So I've got this particular card, and I've got my corner chomper, so a corner rounder of some kind, and I'm gonna go in here and trim off all the corners. Okay, so now that I've got those done, I have the, I think it's called filigree, but I'm not positive. I was gonna look it up before I started the video. It'll be in the description box below, but I love this little frame, and I thought it would be really pretty if we embossed it in gold. So I've got my Versamark ink pad. I'll ink up the frame. I'll stamp it right in the center so you want firm, even pressure. You don't want to rock your stamp. You just want to place it down and then hold it into place for a moment. Lift it and remove it out of the way. I'm going to open up my little container of embossing powder. This is a gold. It's got a little bit of a glitter in it. Something that I've had. I'm trying to use it up. And I'll just sprinkle the powder over the image and tap off any excess. Let's close this up and get it out of the way. I've got a cookie sheet, a cheap metal pan that I picked up from like the dollar store. And I'm going to use my heat tool and I'm going to heat emboss this. So this is not a hair dryer. This is a heat tool and it gets really hot around 1500 degrees. So I'm going to come in here and heat this up. And as it heats up, you'll notice that it'll start changing colors and shape a little bit. And then once it's done, you just let it cool for a moment. Now the embossing is going to be hot, so you don't want to touch it right away. And this pan is also going to be hot. So the reason why I'm using it is number one, I have a plastic mat underneath my work surface and I didn't want to melt it. And it also gives me a place to do it so I don't have to touch. So we've got that emboss, isn't it pretty? Nice and sparkly. Now I'm going to use some Distress Ox or Distress Walnut Stain ink and go around the edges with the blending tool. Then I'm going to take the number one and I don't know if you notice that it has a little bit of a sparkle on it. And what I'm using is Tulip Dimensional Glitter Paint. It's found in the fabric department at say Hobby Lobby and it was $4.99 for this huge four ounce bottle and I use my coupon code so I like to save money where I can and I love that it's just a little sparkle on here it kind of reminds me of those vintage greeting cards. I'll go in here and add some Aline's Tacky Glue on the back side of this little element and then we're going to paste that right in the middle of the frame. Let's see how that turned out. All right, we'll set this one aside. Now we're gonna go on to number two. This particular one is a three by three and a half inch rectangle. And we're gonna round the corners of it like we did the white square. This time I'm gonna grab a scrap of paper here. This is my, when I stamp stuff, I use it so I don't get things on my work surface. And I've got the pine tree and forest moss distress ox. I like this shade of green. So I'm just going to ink this up. And we're going to stamp this in the lower corner, somewhat off the page just a little bit, but I want to make sure that the trunk portion of the tree is on. So I'm just going to stamp that down. I'll use my distress oxide again and go around the edges or distress walnut stain. I keep saying that because I keep going back and forth between the two inks. And then I've got the number two. We're going to glue that down right there over the tree a little bit. So now we have one and two. So let's do number three. So for number three, I have a three inch square piece of craft cardstock. 
and I've got the Bella Rose stamp and I chose to use the Bella Rose stamp because there's roses in the Christmas dream uh, subscription box as well as the large journal kit as well as the planner kit so we're going to take this and I'm going to ink it up in jet black archival ink making sure it's got a good coat and then I'm going to rotate this to where it's kind of coming off the corner just a little bit now if you want you could come in here and add some color to that I'm going to leave it this color I'll go ahead and round the corners again and we're going to use the distressed ink walnut stain and go around the edges and I've got the number three and we'll put it in this upper corner. I'm going to set that one aside. So we got one, two, three. So now we're going to do number four. This is number four. Round the corners again. It's a common thread. This time I have the flourish, floral flourish, I think it is, it's called. I just like the little design that it has. And I've got distress oxide and aged mahogany. It's a pretty shade of red. Inking up the stamp and then I'm looking where the little stem portion is. And I want it to be at the bottom. And then I'm going to ink it up again. I'm going to turn it and then just come up the side here. So it kind of gives a little corner flourish. All right. And then I'm going to use the Distress Ox or Distress Ink Walnut Stain. And then I've got the number four and we'll glue that on top. So there are four different designs. And what I did was knowing that there are 31 days in the month of December, I went ahead and cut seven to eight of each kind of cardstock pieces or selected those from my stash. I went ahead and did batches of each of these stamping, set those aside, and then just picked up the numbers and put them down on top. So now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for December 25th. So I've got a couple of stamps here. I've already got a square and this one is four and a quarter inches square again is part of what I had left over this is the December 25th day I added some little strips of paper so that I could make this into a small pocket so I'm just going to fold these tabs to the inside like so and I'll go ahead and put some distress ink right around those edges just to make sure that that white paper doesn't stand out so much. Well, I know I'm going to put this on here. And as I was looking at it, I was trying to decide how do I want to decorate the foundation? Cause that's rather plain. So I came up with the idea of using this leaf, leaf, leafy vine, leaf vine. Anyhow, I think it's really pretty and we're going to emboss it in gold. So I'm going to take my vine, and my Versamark ink pad, and we're going to stamp across the bottom and I'll stamp across the top I'll rotate it and do it on the other sides we're going to emboss this so I'm going to put it in the embossing powder again I'm going to use the same gold embossing powder just tapping off the extra I'll put that on my tray and let's heat emboss it now whenever you're using embossing powder I know I didn't mention this earlier if you're going to do a lot you want to make sure that you have a good well ventilated area if you're going to do a whole bunch make sure you wear a face mask to protect your breathing so that you don't breathe in these particles and you want to use a nice heat tool and make sure that you have a work area that's not going to catch on fire if it gets too hot all right so i've heated up the embossing powder all the way around isn't that pretty with the sparkles on there let's glue down our pocket so that's going to go right here so I'm just going to add some glue on our tabs and I'm using a lean's tacky glue I do add just a little bit of water to my bottle and it makes it a little bit easier for it to flow just put a little bit in at a time and shake it really well so I'm going to put this somewhat at the bottom center I'm going to put a block on there just to hold it in place for a moment so since I made this a pocket got glitter embossing powder everywhere I've got a couple of little cards here that I want to decorate so this first one is just a little piece of scrap I think it's two inches by three inches and I've got the little holly swag I think it's what's called holly swag and we're going to stamp it right across the I'm going to do it upside down just so it's easier for me 
right across the top area. So we've got a little decoration there. I'm not going to paint it or color it. You can if you want. And then I've got a red square that is about two and a half inches by three inches. And I've got from the festive cube there's four little stamps and this is just one of them and i thought that was a really cute uh image so we'll stamp that right here in the corner so we've added a little decoration to that corner and then we've got this piece and then this will go inside our little pocket so we have journaling that we can use on the back or we can use these little tabs that are inside well, I hope that you enjoyed seeing a way to make some quick little journal cards. I'll flip through all of them. So we've got one, two, three, four. I'm just going to flip these over. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think you're getting the idea. If it was bigger, then I just put it at the top. Just tried to go in here and make this go pretty quick by making a whole stack of these little journal cards and then just placing the numbers on top so you can see how they turned out. So I hope this gives you some ideas to go ahead and use your stamps or pick up some from my shop to make your own little advent journal cards. Well, thank you so much for watching today. I've had some issues with power and internet due to an ice storm that came to Oklahoma. So my hope is on Thursday, November the, see, today's the third, fourth, fifth, I will be live at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time sharing more of the Christmas Dream journal kits. And I hope that you can join that. And then I'll be live again on next Monday. And of course, in between, I hope to have some more tutorials for y'all. Then thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day and we'll see you next time. Bye everybody.